Greetings from AETCM. One of the major concerns with all healthcare systems in the times of this corona pandemic is whether the number of patients who require mechanical ventilation might outnumber the total capacity of the hospitals. Uh, so this is a major concern even in the West. So one of the, one of the solutions they are uh, uh, going for now is basically based upon a 2006 published study by uh, Neyman and Irwin in Society of Academic Emergency Medicine, where what they attempted was how to convert a single ventilator and use it for more than one patient. So to explain this simple concept, I have with me Dr. Sri Krishnan, who is a consultant in emergency medicine department, and also Mr. Radha Krishnan, who is the head of uh, the respiratory therapy division at the hospital. To start with, I will uh, uh, just ask uh, Dr. Sri Krishnan to give, a, give you a quick outline of what we are going to do. Greetings to all. Uh, as you are aware, we are facing a uh, very grim situation uh, regarding the need of ventilation for an ARDS patient. That is one of the biggest questions that arises when we think about coronavirus. So the problem that we might may face, but I am praying to God that it should not happen, that we might need to uh, use a ventilator for multiple patients, say so single ventilator for multiple patients. So situation can arise, maybe in hospital capacity, we might be having some 15 to 20 ventilators, or maybe a super speciality hospital, we might be having some 100 ventilators, that will be the maximum limit. So maybe the number of patients that you are going to receive may be somewhere around 200, 300, we don't know. But one thing that we can quickly do is that when the patient needs an emergent airway management and followed by an intubation, uh, we don't have sufficient ventilators, maybe hands also will be less. We can't uh, keep bag masking them for a long time. Maybe for the initial initiation, maybe for one or two, pa two patients at a time, we can connect with a single ventilator. So that is one of the biggest advantages that we can have. Maybe with a single unit, we can will be able to handle a minimum of two to three or four patients. That depends upon how we will be able to get the connectors that uh, Radha Krishnan will be explaining to us. Okay. Um, over to Radha Krishnan. He, he will be explaining you how this can be done very easily with whatever is available, which, which is already available with us. Over to Radha Krishnan. Greetings to all. Uh, so here I am demonstrating that how to connect uh, this ventilator because uh, we have one or two, or more than four uh, patients might be there. Single ventilator, how we are performing with four patients. You will see how we will connect. No, now we can see how we are going to be connect with the system. So first of all, we know that the inspiratory port and the expiratory port as usual like that. So what we are doing over here, we are disconnecting the two limbs over here. Okay. And then we have two adapters over here. Uh, uh, where do you get this kind of adapters? So uh, usually in our hospital, what we are doing, uh, this adapter uh, from where I got it means uh, you are using the nebulizers. And that nebulizers adapter, I got it, T-connector, I got it from our hospitals. Okay. And we can use this for uh, connection purpose. Okay. And then... First, first limb, uh, inhale, uh, the uh, inspiratory port, we are connected with the one adapter and the other for exhalation. And so, now the other connection part is like uh, so two wings. Now we are showing a single patient circuit now first, right? Yeah. Okay. Single patient circuit is like this and uh, usually we are connecting like this. Okay. It's connecting like this. Okay. But in single ventilator, how we are connecting, how we are ventilating with the two patients that we are demonstrating over here and we have two test lungs over here okay so here what's doing is one limb we are connected with the our inspiratory limb this inspiratory limb we are connected with our first limb, first okay. lungs okay and this is the expiratory limb this connected with our expiratory port okay And this is our next lung. Okay. So this is we connected with our inspiratory limbs. Okay. And other thing is our second second lung. Okay. That also we connected with our expiratory port. Again, uh, to re-emphasize a point, uh, uh, this is not kind of a very standard kind of a recommended kind of way, but uh, this can be used to save lives when there is uh, really shortage of ventilators to start with. There can be scenarios when uh, uh, probably one patient is improving and the other patient is uh, deteriorating and we will need two kind of settings for both patients. That may be the situations where as per availability of uh, ventilators, we need to change on patients to a single ventilator, of course. This is, again, I am re-emphasizing, this is not kind of 
a long term kind of measure this is yes we need to intubate a patient and probably we have a patient with similar uh, clinical status and uh, we feel the both patients uh, lungs are behaving similarly okay probably during that time we can do this there is lot of infection uh, uh, concerns and things like that but yes once we know that both of them are having corona and uh, as a life saving measure probably this might uh, be the way we might we all might need to go uh, and as dr station had initially told let us hope though that such a scenario doesn't arise but just in case uh, this this might be a low cost effective way to save a life thank you